Hey Hello everyone. everyone. We just wanted to quickly introduce to you our next challenge. Which consists in 21 days of drinking one gallon of water per day. Wow, that's a lot of water. I know it's a lot of water, but the good thing is that we're gonna add some flavor to it. Mm. Like some lemons or oranges or cucumbers or ginger. Like all natural, no sugar, no additives, any of that. So it's all natural. You can drink other things, but the challenge is to drink that gallon of water per day. I don't think we've ever drank that much water before a day, so it's gonna be a real challenge for me, especially. Yeah, I'm not used to it. I drink water, but I don't know if I drink less than a gallon or more than a gallon. But in the past, I used to drink a lot of sugary drinks and soda which those are really bad for you so we can still drink something else but we need to make sure we get that card on the day at least it's just for 21 days so after that we can decide whether we want to continue doing it or we just drink less so join us as we continue on this next journey and uh, drink a gallon of water a day can i count this water that i'm absorbing uh, I don't think so. If this is the one that we need to count. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. What are you doing? Mm. That doesn't count. Delicious. <laughs> Hello everyone, so we're back after 21 days of water fasting. Yes, 21 days. It takes 21 days to create a new habit. Well, some people may need more time than that, but 21 days is going to help us establish a new routine and after that, it will become easier to sustain it. Just remember, the first 21 days is going to be a little bit tough, but you need to stay strong and don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Our water fasting consisted of half a gallon to one gallon of water daily. For example, we added to our water cucumber, ginger root, lemon, watermelon, uh, berries, and, and or oranges. Uh, we let them sit overnight and that was our drink for the next day. We also counted uh, our breakfast smoothie made with fruits and veggies and, and protein powder as part of our challenge. Some days we had one tea, but we didn't add any type of sugar to the tea. When we buy teas, we make sure that it's sugar-free. Other days we made juice with real veggies, so our half gallon to one gallon was just plain water with some added natural ingredients. Our daily water intake varied from day to day depending on what Seleni <laughs> decided to make for the day, but we definitely drank a lot of plain water throughout the, this challenge. Our first challenge was intermittent fasting. And by the way, we, we're still doing it. There are so many great benefits to keep doing it. Now, our second challenge is water or liquid intake. It might seem like a lot to drink half a gallon to one full gallon a day, but I believe we really need it to increase our water intake. That's one of the reasons we were adding some natural ingredients to our water. So it didn't feel that we were drinking half to one gallon of pure water daily yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the first time we really measured how much water or liquids we were taking daily it was a good challenge to help us to increase our water or liquid daily intake and to find out how much water our bodies needed on a daily basis one of the ways you can notice if your body is in need of water is by checking the color of your urine throughout the day if it's yellow bright yellow or dark yellow, that means that you need to drink more water. If your urine is light yellow or really close to the color of the water, or I would even say fully clear, you'll be fully hydrated. 
you can be overhydrated, but that will happen if you're drinking over a gallon and your urine is super clear throughout the days, four days. So by drinking half to one gallon of water or liquid per day, it would be impossible for you to overhydrate. Yeah, and another way you'll know if you need more water is if you're sweating so much. Uh, the more you sweat, the more water you need. It will depend on the type of work you do on a daily basis. Sometimes you might even drink over a gallon if you're super active. Yeah. We documented our daily water or liquid intake, so we were able to keep track of our progress. This challenge was between half to one gallon, but we always drank between three quarter to one gallon daily. The water daily intake started a few years ago for me, but it wasn't easy at the beginning because I was used to drinking sodas and sugar drinks, but not anymore. Now, water is my daily drink with all my meals and snacks. We just add some natural ingredients and I'm good to go. For example, our first drink in the morning is water mixed with lemon and honey. There are so many benefits to this drink, first thing in the morning. Yeah, this wasn't really easy for me uh, because I wasn't used to it, but now it's becoming part of my daily routines. Now, when I'm out for a shoot, I'm always buying one liter of Fiji water or a bottle of coconut water. I still have my coffee though, but water is always with me too. You know, we're doing these challenges and this was our second challenge and I'm already seeing some improvements in me. Sometimes I just want to give up, but I know all these small steps are going to help me in my road to a healthy lifestyle. Another challenge that we experienced is that we started going to pee more often than before. So we decided to drink the water or liquid throughout the whole day. For example, we always had some water before each meal with the meals and in between meals. This is helping us to digest our foods better. Yeah, and for me, when I go to a shoe and I know I'll be out all day, I don't drink too much water. Sometimes I just have half a liter or maybe even finish the whole liter of water while I'm out of the house. Uh, it all depends on how the day is going, but as soon as I get home, I start replenishing myself with water or liquids. Sometimes I take one cup of water every hour until I feel fully hydrated again. Yeah, Selenia is <laughs> always making sure my water intake is on point. You know, with questions like, what color is your pee? And all, ha ha ha. <laughs> well, I'm just trying for us to stay healthier. We need water to flush out all the waste and toxins from our bodies. Constipation is one of the results of not drinking enough water. So if we don't want to keep all the bad stuff in our bodies, we gotta keep drinking water. Water helps us to stay hydrated and replenish all the water we lose through sweat, mainly when it's really hot. For example, I've had two bad experiences when I became really dehydrated and I was sick for like two or three days. Seleni was my doctor while I was in bed. Uh, it all happened because I wasn't used to drinking that much water or liquids and I was working in the sun for hours without really drinking anything. I pay the consequences but now I already learned the lesson and I keep myself fully hydrated all day long. Water is also good to fight off illnesses, improve blood circulation, and lose some weight, too. Yeah, so something we've been doing is that every time we're going to buy a beverage at a store or restaurant, we, if possible, read the labels, and if it has a lot of grams of sugar, we mix it with water or just don't drink it. We're becoming more aware of what's going into our bodies. Based on some research, our bodies are 60% water and our blood is 90% water. That's why we need to feed our body with enough water or liquids daily. Yeah, and there are so many benefits to drinking water and we're not going to make this video any longer. So you can Google it or watch other YouTube videos so you can be more knowledgeable of the importance of drinking water daily. So, if you would like to join us in this challenge of increasing your water or liquid intake, don't hesitate and try it for yourself. This is our second challenge and it's another a small tiny step to live longer and healthier. Rules are really simple and it's easy to keep up long term. Did you know that you'll be saving money too? Certain beverages are more expensive than buying water. 
Add some natural flavors from real fruits or veggies. And you might like your water better in that way. Yeah. So this is the conclusion to this challenge. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. On to the next challenge.